Hi there, Libras, and welcome back to my channel, The Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters, and this is your Libra September 2020 Astrology Tarot reading. Now, I know that August really threw people for a loop, turned everyone's world upside down. There was so much chaos that it's been hard to connect with people, and a lot of people just were writing and commenting to me that it's been a really tough month. So I'm here to tell you that good luck is on the way because in the month of September, we have a lot of really positive energy and a lot of planetary aspects that are really going to bring us some breaks that we need. And it's also going to help us better connect with people. So we're going to start the month out with a full moon in Pisces, meaning that we are going to be able to go ahead and reconnect with our spirituality and our practicality. We're going to be able to reflect on what happened in August. We're going to be able to know what Uranus did for us because that was what happened was Uranus went into retrograde on August the 15th and that energy in Taurus really kind of just pulled us back to our roots. And now we need to reflect, did Uranus do something good for us? Or was there something that we needed to work on that Uranus showed us? And that's what we're going to reflect on, especially on September 2nd, okay? And then we also have a lot of energy coming from Saturn and Uranus again. But this time they are going to be having energy in your true node sign or your north node. And what that is going to do is strengthen you as a person. It's going to give you a lot of of introspection and a way forward so that all the things that you've been struggling with um, in terms of like your routine and your like workouts or um, some personality things that you want to work on that's really going to be easier for you this month and you're going to notice that you're really liking yourself that you're really liking the improvements that are happening and so it also um, is a time to step out of your comfort zone and that means try something new. If you want to start running at a track instead of going to um, the gym downstairs or wherever you have you know, your workout, maybe you switch it up a little bit or um, find a new way of, to, to communicate with your family members, um, start having family meetings. There's going to be a lot of really cool stuff happening in September. And then we also have uh, a new moon in Virgo. And so we have a lot of moon going on this month. And this new moon in Virgo is on September the 17th. Okay, so that is going to give, it says to it's time to give rather than to take. Um, it's going to be taking time for yourself, giving time to others, and also time to write down your goals and things that you want to accomplish at work and things you want to accomplish at home. So there's a lot of, you know, really good energy coming um, that's going to be very positive. So those are the, what's happening with the moon. And also uh, we have a lot of stuff going on with Mercury because we have Mercury that's going to be in the sign of Libra and then again in the sign of Scorpio, Scorpio all in the month of September, meaning that now you're going to be able to communicate better like a Libra would be able to communicate, but also directly like a Scorpio would be able to communicate. So there's going to be a lot of positive strides going on with your communication. And then we have Mars going in retrograde on September 9th. So any bickering or problems or things that you might have noticed that were really happening in August, is that's going to really let up and then you're not going to see or feel so much uh, drama going on. So things are really going to brighten up. So when I started to pull some decks for you guys, I had to look at the energies that were going on and just try to feel what kind of reading I was going to give you for this month. And so because this month is all about a positive direction forward and making strides, I thought, well, you need sort of a spirit guide. And then I also felt this deck here, which is my uh, spiritual animal deck. And what is so great about this deck is that it is so uncanny. It really tells the truth about what kind of energy you need um, going forward. And it really gets, opens up what the theme is uh, to the kind of energy that is important to you. So if you want to hear this message, please do me a favor and type down in the message box below. I'm ready to hear this. I want to know what my spirit animal is 
And also, if you want more information from me or if you need more help or you need to talk about something, you can always email me at askjenniferwinters at gmail.com and I would be happy to reach out to you, especially to my fellow Libras because I am a six stellium Libra and that means I'm meant to bring love and light to the world. So let's just start by finding out what your spirit animal is. So what is spirit animal for Libra for the month of September? And remember this spirit animal is going to guide you through this month. And it's all about positivity. It's all about moving in a positive direction. And that's exactly what we need after coming off of so much chaos in August, okay? And it's uh, September is always a good time for fresh beginnings. It's the start of starting up a fall. So we get, we're shedding old ways and we're moving into new ways of doing things, okay? So let me see what energy I feel for you, Libra, because... It's very important to feel the right. This one is the card. Um, when I did Leo, it was so bizarre because I pulled out a lion and I was like, I told you these cards for this deck have always been just so dead on. So let's see what's for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, the panther spirit. All right, that's a wonderful card. It says, reclaim your power. Okay, so, you know, in order for you to move forward, it sounds to me, or it feels almost like um, you kind of got beat down a little bit in the month of August, and you had a lot of goals, you had a lot of expectations, and you were really trying to make strides, but because of this planet, the Uranus, and it going into retrograde in Taurus, a lot of things kept getting in the way, mostly probably home life. Um, things were just you know, not moving as fast as you had wanted and you really needed to get a lot done, but you weren't able to. So it, um, this month, what you want to do is reclaim your power. Um, things are going to move out of your way. It, the sea is going to part for you, so it's going to be okay. But you, with that, just, you know, use the energy that you had going into August that got turned upside down and reclaim that power and, and move forward again because um, things are going to... the things are going to open up. So you just need a way through and you need to be strong. You need to be powerful. But also it's interesting because this panther spirit is very stealth, you know, so a lot of things are going to take tactic and finesse in this month for you to be able to get your point across and to get your goals accomplished. Okay. So you just, you're going to have to be stealthy in, in the way you manage yourself. Okay. So this is a really cool card. I like that Panther card. I'm going to have to think about that um, as I'm moving through September. Okay. So yeah, I love that card. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and open up your story for this month. So if you want to hear a story about yourself for the month of September, um, please write down in the comments below. I'm ready to hear my story. And when I try and tell a story about your life, I get into the cards, these Rider weight cards, because they really tell a met metaphysical story about what's going on with you. And then I'm also going to pick some cards from the constellations from my Greek mythology deck in my, uh, this is my astrology deck. And that's going to tell us cosmically like what's going on with your life as well. And sometimes I've noticed that the stories actually from both decks try to tell me the same thing but in a different way. So we're going to see what happens for you. Okay, Libra, let's find out what is going on for you. And with my astrology deck here, I'm going to pull three more cards. And you may not be able to see them with my setup, but I'll show them to you when, when, after I turn them over. Okay. So I'm going to turn them all over at once. All right. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So, so far you have upside down the two of swords. This is from the astrology deck. Okay. And this is the lupus, lupus, sorry, lupus card. And this card t is telling me, especially when it's upside down, that you may have had some trouble in your relationship and that you feel sort of like you're chasing after something or some sort of a feeling or some sort of emotion that is eluding you. 
And so that is something that we need to work on definitely for the month of September. And then we also have the Princess of Wands and this is the summer card upside down for you. I'll turn it right side up though. So this card being upside down means that um, you basically haven't been able to make a change in some sort of area of your life. And it's where you're looking for things to blossom and things to grow and things to change. You kind of feel like you're at a standstill. So you, it, that may be what is going on in your relationship. And then you also have the chariot, which is upside down. So the chariot is about moving forward. So again, this feeling of being stuck, not knowing uh, what to do next. And also there's the card here is about nurturing. It's a cancer um, energy. And that also said, says to me that you may be stuck trying to figure out how to nurture yourself and how to, how to move forward in a relationship and how to create the life that you want for yourself. But it seems as if it, just nothing is happening right now. You're not finding your way forward, but you do have a lot of love and consideration and sensitivity and things to impart on an, onto your relationship. It just seems as if it's not quite working out the way you wanted it to so far. But that could all change in the month of September. Maybe you are going to move forward. Maybe this is just the cards letting you in on, you know, the story and saying, okay, we see you. We understand. This is the cosmic energy. It's like we understand. We see you. Now, when we move on to the metaphysical cards, which are the ones that came come from the Rider weight deck, we see some, everything also is upside down for you. So you have the uh, six of pentacles being upside down okay and so with this card it means that you have a generous spirit but at the same time you're afraid to let go of any of your money there's a fear around money and you are a charitable person but right now you feel as though you can't spread uh, it's it's like keep the economy going sort of feeling like you have to hang on to your money and you're not used to being like that and then also we have the knight of swords which is upside down which is usually a really good card for libras because you know it when you use the swords you're able to cut through things that don't serve you you're able to charge in you're able to uh, establish yourself as um as the one in control and when this card is upside down those things aren't happening. You're not establishing your control. You're not deciding things that are right for you. Like it's very a very difficult time. And, and that may be because of money. It could be the relationship is struggling with money. Um, it could be uh, just career is not going where you want it to go. So there's a lot of things going on here. And then we also have the, um, the swords here. And it's the nine of swords and it's upside down, which actually is is a pretty good sign that the like, um, well, usually when you get this sign right side up, it means that you're, you've reached your limit. You're at a place where you're struggling and you are sorrowful and you're regretting things. And, but with this card being upside down, it, it's telling me that you're, you're, you've moved past this regret, but now you don't know exactly what to do. So this could mean something like maybe you lost a job or maybe um, you your money is tight right now, but you had to make a decision. Maybe you had to be with your family. Maybe you decided to take a part-time job instead of full-time and now you're worried um, that things are going, well, you were worried that things were gonna go um, bad for you, but but right now you're in a situation where you just seem like you made a decision, the regret, you're past the regret, but now you need to know what do I do next? Okay, like I, I had to make this decision. This is the thing from that I knew was best for me, but how do I move forward? So a lot of this has to do with moving forward because this night is upside down. This is moving for a moving forward card. The chariot is a moving forward card, which is upside down. And then the lupus is basically 
chasing something and especially emotions or something in a relationship um it's it's just something that is a pattern also that can be repeated that you seem to not be able to break and then this all has to do with wanting something better but not being able to get there and then this is also creating some sort of um scarcity feeling inside of you like oh I'm never I'm not going to have enough money things aren't working the way that they're supposed to so even though this message is exploring some heavy duty concerns that you have it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to overcome this stuff and I really think that you will I think you're going to do a lot of reflecting um, in this time of the full moon in Pisces and also go, figuring out ways to come out of your comfort zone ways to make more money ways to make your relationship better ways to um, have a better home life it, it, and then also it would be good with on September 17th with this new moon in Virgo to um, be able to, you know, start coming up with a plan that's going to help you. And so if, if what you're working on right now isn't making enough money or it's not getting you like the house or the car or the dreams and stuff that you want, what you want to do is think of like something that's te that's temporary on the side maybe that'll help make some money just to get your confidence and everything rolling okay because the month of September this is the perfect time to move forward and use that panther energy okay to pounce on whatever it is that you need and so now this last card that I'm going to choose for you is out of the energy deck and this is going to either wrap this this reading up by giving us some sort of solution or an explanation or something to avoid and it's just going to kind of seal this message okay so let's see what this message has what these energy cards have for you Libra okay it's very important to feel the energy in these so that I get the right card for you okay this one Okay, so you got the angel of strength. Okay, so this is basically what it is. When you when you're when you're feeling stuck, and that has I see this everywhere here in this reading. When you're feeling stuck, you just have to have courage. You might be taking a risk right now. That's what it seems like, and you're just unsure of yourself, and that fear is causing problems in other places, in the relationship, in 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 money finances um, it's also making you kind of look back at your at your decisions and seeing you know do I regret this do I not regret this but from the cards it's saying that you probably made the right decision even though it was hard you did make the right you have made the right decisions and now you just need to bring like this nurturing attitude with you from the chariot and start moving forward and use all this positive planetary um, positive aspects this month and there's also just so you know Jupiter going direct and that's on September 12th so you're gonna have some luck and you're gonna have some prosperity by by that time which is good September 12th and then we also have Saturn going direct on Sept September 29th meaning that all these a lot of the hard lessons that you've been going through with this particular like uh, fatherly like energy has been there to make you grow but now when Saturn goes back direct it's going to affect you in a way that is going to sort of lighten up on the discipline and in and, and give you more freedom and that's gonna do it's gonna do that for a lot of people globally because Saturn has such a cosmic energy for everyone and when it goes direct it is helpful to get past a lot of the more mundane and disciplinary and fatherly like um, pressure that's on everybody right now so that should be very uplifting for not just us Libras but other signs and also for everyone in in general okay so I hope you like that message Libra I'm so glad that you came to visit me and again if you want a reading just reach out to me at askjenniferwinters at gmail.com and if this message resonated with you please tell me down below in the comments and I will check them. I'll, you know, I usually check them as soon as I can get to them.
but um, I definitely do look at them because I love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Libra. Bye.